right so many of you had requested me to make a introductory video about myself like you wanted to know me better so let's just start today with that so uh, like the first, i'll start with 10 random facts about me right so the first random fact uh, related to my academics is that uh, i did my bachelor's from delhi university and my master's from punjab university punjab university that is in chandigarh and uh, for those of you who want to do masters i think pu is a very good place because the kind of research ex uh, exposure you get here you do not get anywhere else in this country according to me like you have one and one and a half years of project so it's a really good uh, institute to do your masters in now the second random fact about me again related to, related to my academics is that i am a very average student because i cannot give subjective exams and thankfully for me uh, in uh, you know there are a lot of multiple choice uh, examinations and so it becomes really easy for me to at least crack the entrance exam so like around uh, in my masters i have about 63% and uh, i mean i just qualify the bare minimum that is required to join a particular institute so for qualifying net i think you are required around 55 or 60% for gate so i got 63 so i'm good to go right now uh, right so the third random fact that i would like to discuss with you guys is that uh, I am a very avid mountaineer. Okay, I like to do mountaineering and lot of other courses. And for that, uh, like I have, I have gone to this uh, institute uh, called uh, Atul Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Mountaineering. That is in Manali, where I did my basic mountaineering course. And then I, in fact, went to the base camp of Mount Everest, where uh, I stayed there for about two weeks, right? And along with that, uh, I have also been. Uh, a part of trekking i love trekking and uh, in fact i have myself organized various trips and treks and cycling. i do a lot of cycling expeditions as well right so basically i am a very very adventurous person and just i would like to share one experience with you that once uh, i had just 30 40 rupees and i was in chandigarh and i went from chandigarh to kasoli with 30 rupees in my pocket on my cycle in the middle of the night i went around 10 o'clock and then i stayed over there in dharamshala so that was indeed a very good experience and uh, well along with that uh, so this was i think fourth random fact or third random fact i don't remember but anyway i have lost the count uh, so i have if if i come to entrance exams uh, one thing that you need to know is that i have qualified uh, national defense academy nda exam both the written and the interview round and part of the reason is that my 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 whole family is is from defense so it becomes very easy for me to uh, you know crack such uh, exams so this was way back in 2012 but uh, you know thankfully i had, had the opportunity where my father did not force me to join the army he said whatever is your uh, i mean what is whatever is your goal just go for that but the experience of nda is really good so you should definitely give the interview so that is the only reason why i gave the interview because i was not uh, as interested in nda as uh, i was in sciences the fifth random fact you know you should know is that uh, i was doubtful between uh, between physics and chemistry like i loved both the subjects and so it was very difficult for me to decide after my 12th that whether i should do bs in physics or chemistry but thankfully uh, i think i chose chemistry which which is the right choice but yes if i get a chance that my second phd is definitely going to be in physics and and that way i love economics as well so these are the three subjects that are my favorites that is physics economics and chemistry and physics i like like more is because you can theoretically predict first and then you can have the experimental results while that is not there for chemistry so that is also one of the reasons why i decided to i i, I in fact like physics a little more than chemistry right and uh, what else can i tell you about me well uh, i am a very irritating person according to my friends and one of the reasons is that i always like to be technically technically correct so even if they are making a joke i try to ruin that joke by making some kind of technical remark which will spoil everyone's mood so yeah i that way i'm quite a irritating person and uh, whenever i am stressed or i'm not feeling that you know i'm feeling like the, uh, life is not going the right way i decide to uh, go to the hills actually that is like a way for me to detox for me to reach like you know feel alive again and then i come back and start afresh so hills is my way is like the place where i like to go it's like a meditative place for me and uh, in fact you would like to know that uh, one weird thing that i do is during my birthdays i in fact never go to i never celebrate my birthday with my friends in fact i am always uh, traveling alone and nobody knows where i am so 
uh, that is one thing that is quite weird about me. And once I come back, I definitely let my parents know. I do not have my phone as well when I'm going to the hills. So that is one random fact and one weird fact, fact about me. Quantum. All right. Uh, then uh, what else can I tell you about is that uh, <laughs> one thing is there that I had my exam of quantum chemistry and I, I, I was not able to understand while I was there. In, uh, I was actually in Bangalore for some work and uh, I had my quantum exam uh, during that time. So what I decided was uh, to go to Kurk. So Kurk is a hill station in, the, in, the, in Karnataka. So I went over there and uh, I studied quantum and in fact I cleared the exam with good, good yeah, you know, decent grades. Not good, but decent grades. So yes, uh, like hill stations is where I go for anything that stresses me out. Now, uh, because I have I, I'm an army brat, so I have traveled many states. In fact, I have covered close to 26 states of India. And by covering, I, I mean, I have stayed there for one or more month, right? In fact, uh, like I was born in Guwahati, then I did my schooling uh, in Guwahati, in Agra, in Dhampur, in Jabalpur, in uh, Kalingpong, uh, in Shillong, right? In Delhi, uh, Jodhpur, and I think a couple of more places. So these are the places where I've done my schooling. I think I've forgotten some of them. But yes, these are the majority of places where I did my schooling, right? And um, so yeah, what what I like to do apart from this is quizzes. I love to, to gain as much knowledge and especially about scientists. So my favorite scientist is Nikola Tesla. And uh, the reason is because he was devoted to humanity. He, just, he, he did not just do science, he was devoted to humanity. And in fact, many of you might have known that he died in poverty. And he was the one who who was, you can say, the inventor of uh, alternating current. So, yeah, Nikola Tesla is one of my favorite scientists. And I do love to know about these scientists, right? Because there's something about their lives which will guide you or which will motivate you to, you know, further study or further do research. So that is why I love to know the scientists, uh, the, you know, the personal life and the professional life of various scientists. And... Uh, one more weird thing about me is that I do not love to wear, I do not like to wear jeans. Uh, whenever I'm going to college, everybody has a problem with that. I'm always wearing tracks. This is the first time I think I'm wearing jeans because I'm filming this video, but I love to wear tracks. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's a part of a scientist. Somebody likes to wear hat, somebody likes to, you know, do something. So there's some trademark of every person. And for me, it's all tracks. So I always wear tracks, even if sometimes it happens that I have a very you know, important professional conference and yet I'm, you know, wearing tracks and going. So it does not bother me because I think if my work is good, everybody should appreciate my work and not what I'm wearing. So that is what is, you should also focus on your work, right? The rest of the things, they keep falling in place. Right. So for me, like I told you about quantum, I did in cool and similarly, whenever I'm at home and I do not have the money, in fact, if I have the finances, I always go and study in the institutions, but sometimes there's some financial constraints. So then I like to go in a small shop where there's, no, you know, there's not much of uh, people around and I like to go there and then I have coffee and I study. So I cannot work at home. I need to go to a place and have coffee. So that works for me. Some people like to work, uh, you know, in uh, studying the libraries. I cannot study in the libraries where, where everyone is around. So I like to go to a quiet place and, uh, you know, have coffee over there and study. And the last thing that I want to tell you is that I cannot study with one particular syllabus if it's assigned to me. So if you assign me a particular syllabus, uh, I will definitely and definitely always, uh, you know, study things which are outside the syllabus. So for example, if someone tells me that this time in syllabus we have uh, analytical chemistry, so I'll be studying organic or inorganic, but I will never study an, an analytical chemistry. So that is one thing that that is not good, but, and you shouldn't do it. But yes, if someone tries to, uh, you know, uh, constrict, uh, you know, restrict. Constrict, constrict me, right? Restrict, restrict or constrict me, then in that case I I cannot work, right? So these are the things that work for me, and uh, these are some of the facts that I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you like this video and uh, definitely, uh, uh, you know, in, in the future I'll be making more videos about myself so that we guys can connect even better and have, you know, uh, just have it's like an education fam educational family, right? So that is what my aim is and I hope, uh, you know, someday I'm able to do that, right? So thank you so much.